Step into the realm of Lumen Spiritus, a channel dedicated to exploring spirituality and the esoteric. Join us on a journey of enlightenment and discovery as we delve into the mysteries of the unseen. In this video, we explore the hidden connections between ancient mystical traditions and martial arts practices. Discover how esoteric philosophies have shaped techniques and mindsets across different cultures, influencing the spiritual and physical aspects of these fighting arts. Support our channel's growth and future content by donating today. Every contribution, no matter how small, helps us bring you even more captivating videos. Plus, in the description below, you'll find additional insights in our top 10 videos from Lumen Spiritus for further exploration. Could the ancient masters of martial arts have been practitioners of the occult? To unravel this enigma, let's define our terms. Occult refers to hidden knowledge, especially that which is esoteric and mystical. Martial arts, on the other hand, are systems of combat and self-defense. Intriguingly, across various cultures, martial arts often harbor a spiritual dimension that transcends mere physicality. This blending of the mystical with the martial reveals a rich tapestry of practices where the physical meets the metaphysical. Let's dive into the mysterious world where martial prowess meets mystical practice. In the heart of Chinese martial arts lies an enigmatic force known as Qi. This concept, deeply intertwined with the esoteric and mystical, refers to the life force or energy that flows through all living things. It's an integral part of Kung Fu, not merely as a physical strength, but as a spiritual energy that can be harnessed and directed. The legendary martial artist Zheng San Feng is often celebrated for his profound connection to Qi. It is said that his exceptional abilities were not just the result of physical training, but also his deep meditative practices and his alignment with the Taoist traditions. These traditions viewed Qi as a pathway to achieving harmony and enlightenment connecting the martial arts not only to the body but to the spirit and the universe. A noted martial arts historian once stated, the mastery of Qi and Kung Fu transforms it from a method of combat to a meditative and healing art. This perspective highlights the transcendent nature of Qi, suggesting that its practice can lead to spiritual awakening and self-realization. Thus, Qi transcends mere physicality, entering the realm of the spiritual. Korea's Hapkido is more than just self-defense, it's a gateway to shamanic journeys. Tracing its roots back, Hapkido is steeped in a rich tapestry of shamanic traditions, integral to Korea's cultural and spiritual landscape. This martial art is not merely about physical prowess, it involves deep spiritual engagement and rituals that align practitioners with cosmic energies. The shamanic influence is evident in the meditative practices and rituals that are central to Hapkido training. These elements foster a connection to the spiritual world, believed to enhance inner strength and healing abilities. A Korean martial arts expert once described how ancient shamanistic practices are woven into the fabric of Hapkido training regimens. He highlighted rituals that involve purification, invoking spiritual guardians, and meditative journeys that practitioners undertake to master their craft. This integration of shamanistic elements transforms Hapkido into a holistic discipline that balances the physical with the spiritual. Hapkido's techniques are therefore not just physical, but are imbued with centuries of shamanistic wisdom. As we delve into the shadowy world of ninjutsu, we uncover a practice steeped in mysticism and the supernatural. Historically, ninjas were not just fighters, they were adept in the art of invisibility, manipulating their surroundings and even their presence to gain an advantage over their adversaries. Central to their mystical practices was Kujikiri, an esoteric ritual comprising nine symbolic cuts made through the air with the fingers. This ritual was believed to channel cosmic energies, granting the ninja powers such as foresight, strength, and of course invisibility. These techniques were often shrouded in secrecy, passed down orally within the tight-knit ninja clans of feudal Japan. A scholar of Japanese culture provides deeper insight suggesting that these rituals were more than mere battle tactics. They were a connection to the spiritual realm, intended to align the ninja with cosmic forces, thus enhancing their martial prowess. Ninjutsu then reveals itself not just as combat training, but as a profound spiritual discipline. Capoeira, often seen as a dance, hides a deeper connection to Afro-Brazilian spirituality. Born from the struggles and resilience of African slaves in Brazil, capoeira is more than just martial arts. It is a profound spiritual dialogue, 
This art form intricately weaves the physical movements with the rhythms and rituals of candomblé, a religion steeped in African traditions and occult practices. The dance of capoeira, performed in a circle known as the roda, is not just a display of agility and strength, but also a ceremonial practice. This circle becomes a sacred space where the capoeiristas connect with spiritual entities. The music, characterized by the berimbau's hypnotic sound, drives this connection deeper, facilitating a trance-like state among the participants. A renowned capoeira master once described the roda as a moment where you dance with the spirits and each movement is a word in an ancient dialogue with the divine. Capoeira thus serves as a vibrant bridge between the physical and the spiritual worlds. Western martial arts too whisper tales of the occult. In the shadowy corridors of European history, the martial practices were not merely physical, they were intertwined with the mystical and the secretive. Let's delve into the world of historical European martial arts, where the clang of swords often accompanied the silent murmur of arcane secrets. Among the most enigmatic of these were the Knights Templar, warrior monks who are as much myth as they are historical figures. Their martial prowess was legendary, but so were their esoteric practices. It is said that their combat techniques were not just about physical skill, but were deeply embedded in alchemical and hermetic traditions. The Templars' training regimens are believed to have included elements that transcended mere physical preparation, suggesting a blend of spiritual and bodily discipline aimed at achieving higher mystical states. However, not everyone views these connections as plausible. A skeptical historian might argue that the links between Western martial arts and occult practices are often overstated. They suggest that what we interpret as occult might merely be the misreading of religious and philosophical symbolism that was common in medieval texts and practices. Yet, the allure of the occult cannot be completely dismissed. The idea that these warriors were not just skilled in physical combat, but were also guardians of profound mystical knowledge, challenges our conventional narratives of history. Whether myth or truth, the occult roots in Western martial arts challenge our understanding of history. Each style offers a unique narrative, a different way of merging the physical with the metaphysical. As we reflect on these stories, consider how they challenge or enrich your understanding of spirituality in martial arts. What are your thoughts on the intersection of martial arts and the occult? Dive into the comments below and let the discussion begin. Exciting and mind-bending topics are coming to our channel. If you found value in this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to Lumen Spiritus for even more captivating mysteries. Additionally, consider supporting our channel by donating via the PayPal link below. Stay tuned for our next video.